Why couldn't I have been born as rich as Uncle Scrooge is, or at least as lucky as Cousin Gladstone? The capriciousness of fate. If I was lucky, I'd find a treasure trove of some kind and retire to a life of luxury and indolence. Maybe you can, Uncle Donald. Treasures can be found anywhere. You just have to be able to recognize one when you see it. Yeah, Time like cast. for instance. Well, there goes Humus Brush Bristle. Last year he was a poor, starving artist. This year he's rich. What did he Time do? Cast. Win a lottery? Nope, he found an original Ren Castle painting in a junk shop for 50 cents. And there's Madame Baedeker von Popium. Two years ago, she was Type a bad cast. lady living in the park. Now she owns 16 apartment buildings, a baseball team, and two skateboard factories. What did she do? Find uranium in her cornflakes? No, she fell into a dumpster filled with 50-year-old comic books in mint condition. Things like that never happen to me, boys. My karma is always on the fritz. Ten bucks takes it away. Me. And a fine old trunk it is, too. No thanks. I don't want a trunk. Five bucks then. Come on, guy. Time it's cast. a bargain, honest. Sorry. Okay, I'll give it to you. In fact, here, I'll give you five bucks to take it. Well. Great. Wonderful. Ha ha. Now I can go to the asylum a happy man. Dookie do. What do you suppose that was all about? I don't know, but it looks like we've got ourselves a trunk. Oh, this is Looney. Forget the trunk. That screwball gave me five bucks. Let's go for sodas. Not so fast, Uncle Donald. Maybe this trunk is one of those treasures just waiting to be recognized. Maybe there's a fortune inside. With my luck, it's probably filled with overdue parking tickets. However, Hugh. What a load. There's sure a lot of something in this thing. It's heavy. Maybe it's a million dollars in gold. Let's I open cast. it. Where's the key? I'm Cut Donald. Key. I don't have a key. Isn't it in the lock? Nope. Oh, great. That Tight means cast. we'll have to break into it. Stand back, boys. I'll have that baby open in a jiffy. Night, come on. You machine age clap. I can see where hardier measures are called for. Here, Uncle Donald. Maybe you can break and do it with the axe. Good idea. I'll give it a good old Paul Bunyan roundhouse. No luck, Uncle Donald. You barely dented it. So, that Bush League bank vault wants to play rough, does it? Well, I can play rougher. Soon. Are you sure this is a good idea, Uncle Tight Donald? Cast. All sorts of things can go wrong. Don't worry, boys. One good dumb formal number 313, and that trunk will say, I in six languages. Heads up. Bullseye. Let me guess. The trunk is still closed up tight, right? It is in singing Dixie. I've been patient up to now, but the time has come to unleash the bliss. Time. Uncle Donald has that look in his eye that can only mean more trouble. I'm beginning to wish we'd never seen that trunk. We should have kept our mouths time shut cast. about unrecognized treasures, too. A short time later, Donald is ready for his blitz on the trunk. But Uncle Donald... Dynamite! Isn't this Tight going cast. just a bit too far? What if you demolish the trunk and whatever's inside? Relax, guys. I'm using one stick of dynamite, not an atomic bomb. Tight the neighbors cast. are going to love this. Keep quiet and keep down. Good. Pretty much straight up. At least this time I won't get clobbered. Well, Cast. no soap, Uncle Donald. The dynamite had no more effect than the kiss of Zephyr. 
Why don't we just forget about the trunk? I'm Cut Donald. And Vetriasure, too. The only thing that would open this trunk is an atomic bomb. And you don't have one. No, but I've got one more idea to try. Type. So hoist that tight-lipped terror onto your wagon and let's get going. Several blocks and many flights of stairs later. It's too bad that elevators haven't been invented yet. We sure should have used one. Very funny. But I didn't want anyone asking us what we're up to. It was better to use the stairs. See for you to say. There's an empty parking lot on this side of the building. But alas, something new has been added. What? I'm Cut Donald. No but. It a 10 story 4 onto concrete doesn't bust this thing open. I'll eat my hat. Bombs away. Would you like it with ketchup or mustard? Oh, my everlasting sorrowful start. Soon, though another try is made. Let's hope it works this time. Who cars? At least we don't have to carry it down. Time On target. Us. Let's go pick up the pieces. And wallow in the riches. But alas. I don't believe it. The doggone thing is still in one piece. This is spooky. It must be a trunk from another planet. If I could, I'd kick it to another planet. All of this grief for another trunk. And it's exactly alike. What kind of screwball business is this? I don't know, boys. But it's a business we're getting out of right now. But, Uncle Donald, what Don if... What if nothing? I don't care the deed to Saudi Arabia is in this trunk. I'm finished with it. Pardon me, sir, but I couldn't help overhearing. By any chance is this marvelous old trunk for sale? And so... Ten buck. Not bad. With the five bucks the other nut gave me, I'm fifteen bucks ahead for the day. It isn't exactly treasure. Nope. But it isn't exactly a poke in the eye either. And best of all, we're rid of goodness Typecast. knows how many trunks. Come on, boys. Let's go for sodas. The circus was so exciting. I sure wish it wasn't over. Hey, Minnie, let's go behind the big top Cut and cast. see what goes on behind the scenes. Oh no, Mickey. We'll just be in the way. Oh, come on, Type Minnie, cast. just a peek. Gee, wouldn't it be great to be in the circus? You always want to try everything you see, Mickey Mouse. If you saw someone jumping off a bridge, you'd want to do that too. Well, maybe if they were bungee jumping. Oh, go ahead and enjoy your little adventure. Just try not to get too carried away, dear. Thanks, Minnie. I'll call you later, I promise. Hey, look out! You want to watch where you're going, fella? You almost got flattened. Thanks for the lift. I'll make sure to be more careful from. Boy, you're pretty good. Yeah, good for nothing. Cast. I sure love to be part of the circus, if I can manage not to demolish it. Well, why don't you ask the ringmaster for a job? Do you really think he'd let me work for him? It can hurt to ask. Just watch where you're going. No, no, no! Now, don't ask me again! You're so mean! Wendy, come back here and stop that infernal whimpering! First the cage, sweeper quits, and now this! What a day! Excuse me, but I... Who the devil are you, and what are you doing hanging around my trailer? I, uh, and my name's Mickey Mouse, sir. I'm looking for a job in your circus. Don't have any. Now beat it. 
On second thought, maybe you can lend a hand after all. Sigast. Really? When can I start? Later. This isn't exactly the job I had in mind. Tight. But I guess somebody's got to do it. Congratulations on the new job, Mickey. How's it going? Not so hot. I really want to do something more challenging, but I'm Tight not sure cast. what. I suppose you could always work with me. Then again, what's new with a beardless male mouse? Thanks for the offer. But yes, I think you've got a point there. Hey, what's that? Hey, nice moves. Why is that one so sad? Doesn't she have a dancing partner? I'm afraid not Ginger can't seem to get the hang of it, and I don't have time to teach her. Mind if I give it a try? I know a step or two. Sure, let's try a waltz. Pardon me, miss, may I have this dance? One, two, three. One, two. Ouch. Three. Maybe we should slow it down a little. Ouch. Eventually. One, two. Hey, I think she's got it. Pick up the pace, maestro. My pleasure. Too bad you're not a bear, or I'd hire you for my act. With that kind of grace, though, you might try tumbling. That sounds like good advice. Thanks, maestro. And try he does. Are you sure you don't want to join our act, Mickey? We can always use a good tumbler. Yes, I'm sure. And try. Hey, great! You're doing fine! Oops, I guess my aim's a little off. Until... This is ridiculous. There's gotta be something I can do besides sweeping cages and dancing with bears. Okay, only butts are wild, as usual. Who beats four flounders, Ha! Huh? What are you looking at? Ain't ya never seen a clown before? I, I am. Actually, I was just wondering, could you use me in your act? Maybe. Listen, kid, it takes years of training to be a clown. What makes you think you're funny enough to even try? Well, I make my friends laugh. What a yes, say we give him the Wendy tap. Good idea, Pinky. That will teach him comedy eight for amateurs. And so. So, all I have to do is find this Wendy the Weeper. And make Time her laugh cast. and the clowns will accept me. I wonder where she, huh? You must be Wendy. My name's Mickey Mouse and I'm here to turn your frown upside down. But, Wendy proves to be a tough Time audience. Cast. And that's how I saved Ginger's career. Tougher than most. And then I tried to plunge 50 feet head first into a tiny tub of water. Did you hear the one about? B, I don't really feel much like being funny anymore. Huh? What's wrong? Why are you crying? I don't know. I'll guess because you were. Why were you crying, anyway? I'll show you if you like. I'm quite a good aerialist, you see. What's so sad about that? My father, the ringmaster, thinks I'm too young and inexperienced to perform. Tyke. Madame Dangly has been training me. She's our aerial star. She wants to retire, but Daddy won't let her out of her contract. He won't even let me audition for him. He's so stubborn. Um, I think I know how to get you an audition, Wendy. During tonight's show. What? How on earth do you plan Tight to do cast. that? How's our little prof kid doing? I don't believe it. He actually made Wendy laugh. I've never even seen her smile. Ha <laughs> ha. You're so clever, Mickey. I can hardly wait until tonight. You're a natural kid. Can you perform with us tonight? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Can yes. I meet you later? Yeah, just come to our trailer for dinner. You're one of us now. Thanks, fellas. I'll see you later. Soon. That's why I need your help. 
What do you think? I think you are a charming little Time mouse cast. with a brilliant little plan. And I shall be most convincing in my role, I assure you. And convincing she is. Oh, the pain. It is too much. I cannot perform in this condition. Oh. But where will I find another Aerialist to go on tonight? I know someone who could do the show tonight. Her name is Mademoiselle Yar. Wendelia. But I've never heard of Tight her. Cast. Madame Wendelia. She is excellent. Oh, the agony. Well, I don't have much choice. Have Tight her cast. here in time for the show, Mouse, or you're fired. Yes, sir. That evening. Lady. Gentlemen and children of all ages, Tight. for tonight only, we proudly present a special performance by the world famous aerialist, Madame Wen. Wendy. I've been duped, it's all that mouse's fault. Wait, oh, I get my hands on him. That's no aerialist up there, that's my daughter. He only Cast. wanted to give Wendy a chance to show you how talented she is. Look, see for yourself. Ha! Well, I'll be... Hugh, Time what a cast. temper! I'd better hide in here till he cools off. Why didn't anyone tell me how good she was? We did you, old goat. But you wouldn't listen, so Time we cast. had to show you. What is that? I could swear I smell something. GG Mini, I thought you did like it for coats. Great job, kid. You really had a mouth. Your act will be a great addition to our show. Congratulations. TH thing, but I. Yes. Cool that I've done it without you, Mickey. Thanks a million. You always have a job with our circus, son. TH thanks, but I. Well. I suppose you'll be wanting to tour with the circus now. Don't worry, I won't stand in the way of their star performer. TH thanks, Type but cast. I, I mean, no thanks. And so. I've had my fill of circus life, Minnie. You're all the excitement I need. From now on, I'll be content to watch from the sidelines, I promise. At least until the next circus comes to town, haha. <laughs> oh boy. Time that cast. was the last day of school. We're free for the whole summer. I wonder what vacation plans Uncle Donald has for us. Where are we going this year, Uncle Donald? Whitewater rafting on a mountain river. Some tropical island paradise. Nothing of the kind, infants. We're staying home this year. What? Time Our cast. uncle has lost his mind. Not at all. I figured out a way to get rich in just one summer. Please, Uncut Donald. Not another one of your schemes. We've been Time waiting cast. for summer vacation since our last summer vacation. Even now, tourists are flooding into Duckburg. We'll rent rooms in a house to them and make a fortune. What about our summer vacation? You can't be serious. You have another vacation this fall, don't you? By then we'll be rich enough to take a trip around the world. But they're nothing like a summer vacation. He's yeah. stealing our well-deserved vacation from us. He's stealing our entire childhood. Only a grown-up could be so heartless. Oh boy, mind if I bother you for a second? Type. I'll just do a little dusting and then be on my way. After all, we want our guests to enjoy their stay in your room. Our room? Then where are we supposed to stay? Can you believe? Kicked out of our own room. We'll be three homeless nomads roaming the streets and sleeping in doorways. What's next? We probably won't be allowed to eat. Boys, I need your help. Aren't you through pestering us yet? Look at that small print plastered on his face. And he's got something behind his back. What's a tourist home without maids? 
And since I can't afford to hire any of these pretty little aprons ought to fit you just fine. We... We look like little girls. I want you to give I our pass. guests the royal treatment. You must spend every moment you're awake making them happy. So do we agree that he has pushed us to the limit? Past the limit? We'll sabotage his tourist top cast. plans. We'll make him sorry he ever had a brain to think this dumb idea up with. But we can't let him find out we ruined his plans. He still has Tide to take cast. us on a summer vacation. That's better, boys. Keep those eager to please smiles on your faces so we can make our guests feel welcome. Yes, Uncle Donald. Someday you'll thank me for this Tide experience. Cast. Why, when I was your age? Hey, somebody's at the door. Go upstairs and make sure your room is ready. Good day. I've just arrived in Duckburg and I saw your Tide. sign. Do you have a vacant room? Why, of course. We always have rooms for discriminating guests. Step right in. Here's your room. And if you have any special requests, just let me know. Type. Food. I like rich and fatty food with lots of gravy. Lots and lots of gravy. I'll give him a taste of Duckburg's world-famous cuisine. For the price I'm charging him for that room, only Type the best cast. will do. Gaze upon this wonder of culinary perfection. Yep. That I'm to keep our border going for a while. Now run along and serve our guests. And don't forget to smile, smile, smile. We won't do anything but... Do we really have to feed our guest right now? Not until we've tasted the food first. We have to see if it's good enough. Ma'am. You've got to hand it to Uncle Donald. He can be a great cook when he puts his mind to it. Let's taste a few Time more cast. mouthfuls just to make sure. Here's your dinner. We hope you like it, Uncle Donald did his best. Oh, good. I'm starving. I haven't Time eaten cast. in hours. Bon appetite, Mr. Hug. A few more meals like that and he'll be out of here. Then we can go on our summer vacation. Type. Kids are right. After a few days. Goodbye, Mr. Duck. I refuse to stay in this house another minute. But Mr. Hope, what's wrong? Type You're cooking. Cast. Your food is the worst I've ever eaten. It couldn't keep an ant from starving. But I don't get it. I knock myself out every day making great meals for him. Maybe you better guess. just give up on the whole idea. Ha! Huh. How little you know me. A temporary setback like this only inspires me to try twice as hard next time. Back! To be successful Tight in life, cast. my boys, you must work hard and do your best. Why, when I was your age? Hello, anybody home? My name is Artistic. I've come to Duckburg to paint and I need a place to stay. If it's a place you're looking for, Mr. Artistic, then this place is the right place. As you'll see, I have a tastefully decorated home that will soothe your nerves and inspire your creative spirit. Great, Type I couldn't cast. have it any other way. I hate bad taste. I have to run some errands. Show a new guest around the house when he's settled in. You can count on us, Uncle Donald! Hurry up, Type guys! Cast. I'm sure we'll find everything we need up here. Yep, here's that present from Daisy's great aunt Agatha. Even Daisy couldn't stand to have it in her house. Here's that thing Uncle Donald bought at a yard sale. And so, how about a little guided tour of the house, Mr. Tistay? Thanks, boys. Here's a little statue Time that's cast. close to Uncle Donald's heart. Oh no, the lowest of lawn ornaments for the Agoran masses. And he has it on display in his living room? This is Uncle's favorite music place. It all the time only louder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. The horror of horrors? It hits a weeping duckling. The very bottommost rung of wretched taste? Do you like it? It's our home's pride and joy. Why, Mr. Tistic, why are you running so fast? I'm sorry, but I can't bear to stay Time in your cast. house. Your bad taste is poison to my inspiration. A strain on my nerves. Oh, it's too much. My house. Bad taste. Darn it anyway. Why is everything wrong with my food and my house all of a sudden? Why don't you give up and go with us on a nice long summer vacation instead? Not on your life. 
I'm not quitting until I've had at least one boarder who wants to stay. That's it. We're doomed. There's no hope now. Say, Uncle Donald, what if we found a boarder and made a deal with him for you? Sure. Go ahead. I'll accept almost any conditions just to have one border. What's with you, Huey? You haven't gone over to the enemy side, have you? Not Cast. at all. I just had a great idea. If Uncle Donald won't quit until he's had a border who likes it here, let's find him a border he won't like. And who could that possibly be? What's this? You're asking me to rent a room in my cousin Donald's house? It won't cost much and Uncle Donald will pamper Cast. you like a baby? Nah. I know your uncle. He'll start giving me a hard time as soon as he sees me. But you can write your own rental contract and Time have Uncle cast. Donald sign it. Well, well. That's different. Let's see. I want first class food. He can't be rude to me. What else can I stick in here? We found you a border, Uncle Donald. Here's the room rental contract for you to sign. Good work, boys. That's great. I'll sign it right now. Who is this gentleman, Typecast. anyway? Look for yourself. Greetings, dear host. I hope you have a nice big dinner ready on the table for me. I'm starved. Counts and glad Of all the people in the world, why did you have to pick him? He was the only one we could get. He's as good as any other boarder, isn't he? Let me take your bag, on a border. Uncle Donald won't put up with this for long. He'll throw Gladstone out tomorrow, and then he won't have any excuse for not taking us on vacation. Ma'am, the chicken is delicious, but the lemonade could have been a better year. Get the door, will you? I'm expecting company. There he is, folks! Let the party begin! Who are all these people? Why? The other members of the Idle Dandies' club. We've decided to have our annual party in your house. Yum! The fridge Tight is cast. full of good eats! Let's eat him all! I knew he had some decent lemonade hidden away somewhere. I can't party hardy with him around! He's the host, so Tight that cast. means he's working! He's certainly not one of us! Throw him out before he spoils our mood. How I wish I'd read that contract before I signed it. You Cast. mind if we lie down out here with you, Uncle Donald? We can't sleep with all that noise. Morning. My, what a peaceful morning. Oh no. Hey, it's the host. How about a little breakfast in bed? I'm fed up, Gladstone. Get out of my house right now and take your freeloading friends with you. Good morning, host. Read the contract again. It says you can't throw me out. I can stay for as long as I like until I decide to on my own. Cast. Rest. Gladstone, have a heart. We only asked you to come because Uncle Donald wasn't going to take us on vacation until... I don't care about your Typecast. private family squabbles. I have a right to stay here, and I'm darn well going to. I had a rough night, and I plan to sleep all day to make up for it. Have a good dinner waiting for me when I, I wake guess. up. You can eat your pillow instead. This tourist boarding idea of mine was terrible. All I want to do now is get rid of Gladstone and go somewhere far away on vacation. Our idea worked. But now we can't go anywhere as long as we're stuck with Gladstone. I'll just get a few things down from the attic, then we'll go to work driving him out. We're behind you all the way, Uncle Donald. Wants to sleep all day, does he? Let's see how he likes my lullaby. What did you say? Huh, Type doesn't cast. that duck ever sleep? He was making racket all night, and now he's at it again. I'd like to nail him for disturbing the peace. Read the contract, cousin. It expressly forbids music on the premises unless I ask for it. If you break the contract again, I'll sue you. Golly, he's covered himself in every possible way. Type Can't cast. you find any loopholes? Let me see. No explosives, no dangerous animals, 
No turning off the hot water while he's in the shower. No adding chili peppers to his ice cream. Wait, Time here's cast. something. The landlord must make a vague effort to improve the boarder's living conditions, whether specifically requested or not. Uh huh, that's it. May I have a word with you, Mr. Duck? Not now. I'm busy. Let's get to word, boys. Construction equipment. Just make as much noise as you can. Usually we get spanked for this. What do you think you're Time doing? Section 23, paragraph 267 of the contract forbids unnecessary noise. Oh, but this is very necessary, dear cousin. We're improving your living conditions just like the Time contract cast. you wrote tells me to. I'm knocking down a wall to give you more space. After that we'll even dig you a basement. Why? You low down, sneaky. Just go back to bed. We should be Time finished cast. in a few weeks. Goodbye. I'm leaving this inhospitable dump. Hooray. Pack your bags, boys. Sunny beaches and cool water. Here we come. So Time long, cast. old house. See you in three weeks. Our house. We must have knocked out one too many walls. Oh well, we can fix it when we come back. Let's get going. You're not Time going cast. anywhere. Duckburg has laws against public eyesore, littering, and safety hazards. And do you realize how many violations of the building code you've committed? You Time can cast. either go to jail or... This wasn't exactly my idea of how I wanted to spend the summer. Believe us, Uncle Donald. It wasn't ours, either.